Everybody here in Guadalajara on a Sunday. It's almost 2 p.m. And uh, what they do is they, I didn't know this, they close the street until 2 p.m. I only have about 20 minutes left, so I need to go, to, go ahead and start walking. That's the Centro Magno uh, Mall. You can see they close this whole street here. Kind of a rare opportunity I can walk in the middle of the street. Now this part of Guadalajara is very similar to like the United States or something. It doesn't really look like uh, Mexico to me. A good idea is to rent a bike. Like he has a rental bike. Maybe a good idea is I go run. They close the whole street. It goes a long ways. Now watch out for the poop. I'm actually staying at that hotel right now. Velvet Plaza is kind of new. Prices are very good right now. It's like $45, $55. Internet is super fast. I have a problem right now because my car is parked over there, you see. So if you want to drive, you got to deal with the cars, the closed road. I honestly did not know they closed the street like this in Guadalajara. I've seen it before in Colombia a lot, but I think, I think it's the first time I saw that here in Mexico. I have to say, uh, when I was doing the live stream, someone asked me to do this walk, and my hotel's right here, so. I, that's why I'm uh, making this video. It's kind of a special day. I can walk in the middle of the road. Right here we have a skateboarding shop.
she was a honey. I was going to wear my shorts today, but I left it in the trunk of my car. Strictly are. I see that's a rental bike. So if you come here Sunday, you can rent a bike and uh, find one of these closed streets. This is the Arcos de Guadalajara. There's usually a lot of traffic here, so this is quite a special day. Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Got about 14 more minutes. My plan is I was gonna start over there, but I'm running out of time, so. Uh, if you wanna rent a bike, you can buy rent one right there. I kind of have a small park here, over there, and a small park over here. I better get to there before the, my time runs out. You know, I really like this area. Um, yeah, it sounds weird to say it, but being around here, you feel like you're in the United States. If you want to feel like you're in Mexico, you go back towards the central. So it's kind of a fine balance. You could pretend like you live here in the United, like in the United States, or if you want to feel like you're in Mexico, you just uh, take Uber for like eight, ten minutes, and then in the old historic center.
This feels really weird. There's usually a lot and lot of cars here. That's pretty cool though. If you run a bike or something, just keep going in a circle or something. I believe that's the agave plants. You would, you could, uh, when those grow bigger, you can make tequila out of those. Obviously, you got a Burger King there. Right behind the Burger King is a Starbucks, which is might where I might be going. I don't know what it says that F I C G thirty three. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.